Hello, YouTube world. I just wanted to talk to you uh, real briefly about this Aaron Rodgers situation. And, you know, it's very clear that they're using Aaron Rodgers. They're, they're making an example of Aaron Rodgers, that they're making an example of him as someone to be persecuted and shamed because, because they've not received the jab. Now, you know, Aaron Rodgers, whether he's acting and is part of the whole show on this or if he's literally trying to be genuine and is truly fighting the NFL, I don't know. I, I really don't care. Um, I, I know there's at least one video I did in the past. Can't remember which one where I was talking about some of Aaron Rodgers' anti-Christian comments and some of the, some of the occult uh, you know, and satanic hand gestures that he seems to make. So, you know, I don't, I don't really know. I think that's kind of irrelevant whether Aaron Rodgers is just playing a role in acting in this or if he's genuinely, uh, you know, trying to kind of fight for his, uh, you know, personal constitutional rights. But the point is, they are really making an example of Aaron Rodgers. And we're seeing this obviously more and more and more, this MO of persecuting and shaming the unjabbed and of, uh, you know, making them look bad and chastising them and, you know, basically saying they're not fit for employment or work. And I just want to play a little bit of this clip uh, of Boomer Asides and speaking, so you get an idea on what's going on with this. You no, know, I love Aaron Rodgers as a player, but I'm sick of Aaron Rodgers off the field, and he really let his Green Bay Packers down. You know, you're supposed to be the leader of a team when you're a quarterback. I reached out to Frank Reich this week, and the reason I reached out to the Indy head coach was because he has a quarterback has to follow protocols. All right, told me that Carson Wentz has been nothing but a... And I, I apologize, I had to mute that. Uh, real quick, there's a word, you know what word, that with a V that I did not want set on here, trying to trying to stay, uh, you know, to keep this video up. This has been nothing but a role model under the conditions that the NFL has set forth. He's protecting himself, and he's protecting his team, and he's leading his team, even though they're not the number one team in the NFC, like Aaron Rodgers is. And for him to go to a Halloween party unmasked and put himself in that situation is the things that leaders don't do. So whether you're upset about Jordan Love being drafted or whether you're upset because your way of immunizing yourself nation you have let down the green are you saying Packers. carson wentz he wears a mask everywhere he goes everywhere he goes he you protects have, himself and if you would, i had to mute that there again for a moment i watched on thursday night against the jets he wears a mask on the sideline a lot and then after wow. the game's over he'll put the mask on so he's taking the series the league following seriously. the protocols by the book right and by the other the other part of this also is remember so you, you've got Boomer Esiason applauding and just growling over Carson Wentz, who apparently is another part of that has not received the jab. And he's talking about how he wears that mask everywhere, wears it on the field, wears it during interviews, wears it when he's, you know, in the bathroom, whatever. And just applauding, you know, what a great uh, example Carson Wentz is. You know, Carson Wentz, publicly proclaims itself as a Christian. You know, you can't serve two masters. So Carson Wentz, are you really serving the Lord and representing the Lord by, you know, proudly donning that face diaper all day, every day? So, you know, Boomer Sison using Carson Wentz as the prime example of an upstanding unjab player because he wears the mask 24-7. He does all these ridiculous uh, things that the NFL wants in their protocols. Remember that the NFL has put cameras in every single building. Mm. And if Aaron Rodgers has violated any of the protocols in football spaces, as La uh, Matt LaFleur was talking about this week, they will find him heavily and they will find the Green Bay Packers heavily. But Aaron Rodgers once again puts Mark Murphy, Brian Gutenkist, and of course Matt on. So he's taken the series, the league Following seriously. the protocols by the book. Right. And by the other, the other part of this also is remember that the NFL has put cameras in every single building. Mm. 
you know, this is a pretty creepy part. Then, you know, Boomer Sison goes on talking about how the NFL has put cameras in every single building for every team to videotape these players to ensure they're, you know, following these insane CV19 protocols. And, you know, Boomer Sison saying how great this is and how they've got all this on video and that they need to nail Aaron Rodgers if he's violated any of the protocols. It's just amazing where, where we've gone in two years that you've got a sports anchor applauding the NFL for putting cameras in every single room. I, I guess maybe the, the bathroom, too, so they can film these guys on the crapper. But, you know, saying how great that is and that they need to go back and review the video of these cameras that are in buildings and, you know, albeit in private rooms, whatever, locker rooms, training rooms, uh, you know, when these guys are doing private things that he's applauding it and a proponent of it, uh, you know, it, you know, Boomer Sison applauding this Orwellian big brother police state. It's just unbelievable, the propaganda and how far we've gone down the hill in in two years that this is, you know, Boomer Esiason just proudly uh, applauding this communist police state and just railing against anyone who who is standing up for a constitutional right. And, and Aaron Rodgers is obviously the target here. And you know, they've been, the, the entire sporting world, at least the mainstream media, has been just railing on Aaron Rodgers and using him as, as, as an example. You know, this is another one. I'm not going to play the whole clip, but uh, this is um, Ryan Clark. I think that's his name on ESPN. Uh, Aaron Rodgers was deceitful, and he was deceitful purposely. Um, you know, it, that's kind of, you know, they were saying that maybe Rogers had, had, had used some other treatment as trying to get that to count as being jabbed. And th that's really quite irrelevant, um, you know, to all this. this. This whole NFL protocol is just absolutely absurd. And so obviously, you know, this, this video, uh, Ryan Clark is just, he's very angry, as you can see in his eyes. He's just railing on Aaron Rodgers the whole time on this and so and you i'm sure you can find many many more examples of this in the sports world whether whatever network it's on you know espn nfl abc cbs and nbc whatever is this just common thread of aaron Rodgers being used an example uh, you know uh, to push this mo of persecuting and shaming the unjabbed and it's just such intense propaganda. They're putting such intense pressure on people and just dehumanizing anyone that's not had the jab, that you're letting down your coworkers, you're, you know, you're, you're letting down society, you're just a terrible person, you're not fit for employment, so on, so forth. Really, to me, very, very similar to how they treated the Jews in Nazi Germany. So... You know, I I just thought it it was interesting. You know, Aaron Rodgers, I, I got I don't know if he's just kind of acting and playing along on this, or if he's truly trying to stand up for his rights. Doesn't matter. You know, he Aaron Rodgers. You could substitute anyone else. He's just one of the guys that they're using as an example uh, to persecute and shame, like Kyrie Irving in the NBA and others. Is this just narrative of just persecuting and intense shaming of those that have not received the jab um you know it's just unbelievable how now you have even in sports the mainstream media pushing this communist big brother police state uh like it's just wonderful and just railing and beating down anyone that that you know dares to stand up for any personal liberty or constitutional right you know we you know once again boomer sison applauding the NFL putting cameras in, in every single room in all these buildings and looking over your shoulder every time you fart or sneeze like big brother. So really incredible uh, where we've gone in, in two years and living now in this, this big brother police state. So 
I just want to comment, uh, you know, real briefly on this. Uh, looking, looking to do some more videos here real soon, hopefully. And uh, just want to remind you that Jesus Christ is Lord. You know, we are truly living in the end times. And, you know, if, uh, if you don't know the Lord, I, I just really encourage you today, just look to Jesus Christ, repent, ask him to forgive your sins and to save your soul. Uh, for he truly is faithful and he will. So uh, take care and I'll talk to you real soon.